bag. You take you know, the use carriers and use less of them. But it does not apply to every shop, and not everyone is in favour. Smithy Sriram is founder of the Supreme Creations, of Supreme Creations, which describes itself as an ethical manufacturer of reusable bags. Good morning, Smithy. Morning. Is this good news, would you say, then? Yes, I mean, we at Supreme, we welcome in the levy, um, but I think there's a lot more to be done. And I think the uh, bosses at the supermarkets and the larger retailers really need to delve into the psyche of the consumers. Um, you know, it's not just about charging five pence and making money out of it and passing it on to good causes. It really is about carry um, It's not about the disposable plastic bag. We advocate and manufacture strong, durable, reusable carrier bags. Um, and we supply to Tesco, to Topshop, to River Island. And people really love it. You know, they really like using these strong and durable products where plastic bags just, just don't really muster up to. But it's interesting. In one of the papers today, it says that um, if you swap to a, a bag for life, uh, yeah. you're risking food poisoning. If you're using the same bag for raw meat and ready-to-eat food, for example, the Food Standards Agency is warning because it's saying that um, there's been a 50% rise in San Francisco, for example, of uh, food-borne illnesses after plastic bags were banned. I think we have to be sensible about this. I think there's a wider discussion about food and how it's been wrapped. Um, so the bags that we manufacture are not plastic-based, and plastic actually does carry a lot of um, uh, sort of bacteria in it. We make fabric bags that are out of cotton and jute, which last around 5,000 uses. And in terms of the bacteria that gets carried or transferred on from fresh veg vegetables onto uh, onto the onto the uh, bag itself and the and the transfer, I, personally, I believe that. It's important to think about the wider issue, um, and we can also wash our bags. I was just about to say, that's the nice yeah. thing about those cotton bags, is you can yeah. bung them in on a hot wash. Or, um, exactly. Yeah. Well, not on a hot wash, actually. It's actually no. on, a, on a fairly cold wash. Cold wash. Like the cold wash. <laughs> um, but, you know, we need to think wider about the issue, and the landfill rises because of plastic bags, and the environmental you know, d damage. It isn't, the, it isn't a panacea. It, this is not going to solve the environmental issues, but it will plant a seed in consumers' minds about how that their little sort of daily activities or weekly activities at the shop can actually help the environment. Um, in Miranda, they ban all plastic bags, and if you arrive at Miranda Airport, the International Airport, we say you're duty-free in a plastic bag, they will take that bag off you and give you a paper bag. Do you think we need to go that draconian, Smithy? I, you know, I think it's about empowering the consumer. I think we should allow the consumer to choose what they want to use. So, uh, for me, it's really about something which is strong and durable. Uh, paper really lasts only one or two uses, uh, whereas the bags that we make are about 5,000 uses, you know, reuses. So, um, if they're strong, they're well-made, they could actually be used as a great billboard or a walking billboard for a particular brand. Um, so when I work for London Fashion Week, for example, it's a great opportunity for British designers to promote their message on something as long and lasting as a, as a fabric bag. I tell you what, there are a load of letters in um, in the papers today about these um, these plastic bag taxes they're calling them, and one of them saying, for example, um, you know, obviously the justification for taxes on plastic bags is that they take a long time to degrade, cause uh, mm -hmm. litter and are dangerous to wildlife. And then this uh, letter goes on to say, my local council will not remove our household waste unless it is in a plastic bag. We will now have to buy, pla buy plastic bag bags rather than reusing shopping bags, and these bags will take just as long to degrade, cause just as much litter, and also endanger wildlife. Yeah, I mean, I think there is, there seems to be a slight mismanagement in terms of how this issue is being tackled. You do get at your local supermarket um, some sort of degradable bin bags and bin liners. But really, I think councils need to uh, use biodegradable bins. So in my household, we use jute, hessian sacks and put all of our compost in it. And any of the um, paper waste that we have goes into a, a designated bag that the council give us. We don't actually need to buy any bags. But you are right. Councils overall do need to make uh, a, a, an option where shoppers and, and householders don't feel penalized. And frankly, this is not uh, a tax. This is a levy. So supermarkets do have the ability to not charge you uh, if you are give it, bringing in your own reusable bag.
Smithy. We thank you for your time this morning. Smithy Sheeran there from the Supreme Creations organisation, which describes itself as an ethical manufacturer of reusable bags. Yesterday, at least one supermarket, you were getting free bags for life if you shopped before 11 in the morning. Uh, yeah.